With the latest update to Logic, there are significant changes to the way Drummer works, and now we can use Logic's Drummer as a player for third-party drum plugins. I've been looking into this a bit, and I've come up with some protocols for using Superior Drummer in conjunction with Logic's Drummer. There's some steps to know, but once it's set up and you do it a couple times, the advantages become pretty apparent. It's not really difficult, but I can save you a lot of time hunting around on how to do this and how to get them to work well together. I've always thought Drummer was a great idea, and it came along way earlier than other developers. The one drawback for me was the sound library it uses. Not enough drummer variety, and the live kits just didn't do it for me. I think the toms and the snares kept me from using it too much, except to scratch out a track real fast, and then I would replace it later. But now, being able to pair the Logic Drummer with third-party software changes things dramatically. Superior Drummer has some great sounding kits and was a logical choice to do this protocol with for a couple reasons, and that becomes more apparent as we go along. So here's how we do it. We'll start with the Logic Drummer track. I've got one set up. Track one, it's using rock and pop rock, and it's a SoCal kit. Let's take a listen. What I want to do now is I want to open up Scripter. Inside of Scripter is a preset. It's Drum Kit Designer Remapper. This is going to show us what MIDI notes are playing what part of the kit. For example, C1 is the kick drum. D1 is the snare center. E1 is the rim shot. This will be a useful reference as we go along and we look at Superior and see what is playing what inside of Superior. Now I want to open up a Superior Drummer track. So on track two, I'm going to call up Superior Drummer. And the first thing I would tell you to do is when you open up a kit in Superior Drummer, you want to fill out your kit so all the pieces are going to be playing. Notice there are some blank pieces in this kit. So I've got uh, a favorite drum kit I use. I like New York, Volume 3. And then I've also got a preset where I filled out all of the sounds, all the cymbals and toms. Yeah, so now I've got a full kit to work with. At this point, I can create a drummer region. I'm going to control click, go down, create drummer region. And now this track is going to function with Logic's drummer playing through the Superior Drummer plugin. We're already mostly home, but there's a few adjustments we need to make. So we can compare these two drummers. I'm first going to delete this region, and then I'm going to option drag. Now on both tracks, we have identical regions playing the same fills and same kit pieces. So let's take a listen to Superior Drummer. Now we should make some adjustments inside of Superior Drummer. So I'm going to open that up. I'm going to go to Settings. Go down to MIDI In. I'm going to go to User Preset or Use Preset. Then I'm going to go up to Apple and I'm going to choose Logic Drum Kit Designer. This is going to make adjustments on the kit pieces Superior is playing and match it up better with Logic's Drummer. 
Now let's take another listen to Superior Drummer. So Superior Drummer has done most of the heavy lifting for us, and you can stop there if you want to, but some details should probably be adjusted. And this may differ according to the drummer, drum kit, and version of Logic you're using, and the drum kit and Superior Drummer you're using, but I can show you the method. The toms are where I see the biggest issue, so let's go back to Logic's drummer and open up Scripter. Now if I play C2, it says I'm playing a high tom. B1, a high mid tom. A1 says low mid tom, but they're really just the same tom in this kit. G1 plays nothing, and F1 plays a low tom. So we have three toms, C2, B1, and F1. Now let's check out Superior Drummer. We're going to go again to Settings, MIDI In, We've got it on the Logic Kit Designer, and now I'll play the same drums. If I play C2, I've got a rack tom. B1 plays the same rack tom. A1 plays a floor tom. Same floor tom for G1, and a low floor tom on F1. So what I really need to change is B1, and I can do that easily. It says here B1, Rack Tom Center. So what I'm going to do is go down to Rack Tom and change that to Floor Tom 1 Center. Now if I play C2 and B1, I've got two different toms. That's going to be the same now, just like Logic for A1 and B1. If I go down to F1, I've got a Floor Tom Center. G1's not playing what I really want it to play. I'm going to change that to Floor Tom 2 so it plays the same thing. So F1 and G1 are playing the same Tom. A1 and B1 are playing the same Tom. And C2 playing my high Tom. Now this should line up nicely with what is happening in Logic's drummer. You might find you have to make some other changes, pay attention to your cymbals and your hi-hats, and make sure they're playing the sounds that line up with Logic's drummer. But now let's go ahead and take a listen to both tracks. Let's take a listen to track one, Logic's drummer. And now Superior. This is a pretty potent combination. I can open up Logic's drummer now. It's going to play superior, and I can change the presets. It will all make adjustments, just like it's playing a Logic drummer. I can change the loudness, the softness. I can change the pieces. I can go to details, add ghosted notes, take away ghosted notes. It's pretty powerful, but there is one more very important trick you need to know, and I'll show you that now. If you switch drummers, if I go up here, say I go to Alternative, pick Indie Disco, it says Change Drummer. Once I do that, it now switches to a Logic Drummer. It's no longer using Superior Drummer. Before you do that, what you want to adjust is go down to Beat Presets, Keep settings when changing drummers. Keep drum kit when changing drummers. And now if I change drummers, it's still going to play superior drummer. It's going to use its sounds, its drum kit, but I have a different drummer playing. One of the things Logic does well is create fills. And this is one of the tricks I like to do, especially if I've got superior drummer open and Logic is playing it. So I'm going to duplicate this track. And now with this track down here, I'm going to jack up the fills. And this way I can go through and if 
find some natural sounding fills that I like and add it to my regular track just where I want them to be. So I can change this all up, experiment with different fills, find some in this track that I like and add it to my main track without messing up my original groove. It's a great way to add some creative, real sounding fills to your track. Otherwise, if you're using Superior Drummer, you may have to just depend on what you have in your MIDI library inside of Superior. And that can be limiting. And remember, you can always convert this data to MIDI. I'll control click, go down to convert, convert to MIDI region. And you can go backwards and convert it back to drummer data. Control click, convert at the bottom, and we convert it back to a drummer region. And this would allow you some creative editing possibilities. Well, I hope this helps you get off the ground with this process and helps you see the huge amount of possibilities from doing this. It's very much like having the best of both worlds. So try it out and let me know what you think.